Hello, and welcome to Midlife Gamers Crib Sheet, where we take a sealed tabletop game, open it up, and show you what you get in the box on first inspection. This time, we are featuring Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition by Fantasy Flight. This currently has a recommended retail price of $92.99, but you can get it slightly cheaper if you shop around. However, based on the weight, you are getting a lot of physical bang for your buck here, and this is a seriously hefty box, and not one you'll be throwing around lightly. It does have a HP Lovecraft vibe to it, and it seems to be incredibly detailed, so let's begin. The weight of this is really making it hard to open up. The first thing you're faced with, obviously, here is the details of the app and where it can be downloaded free of charge. It is the next stage up from an app enhanced board game in that you cannot play without the app, I believe. So that is your download instructions with an overview of the app on the reverse side. Next up is a catalogue of other Fantasy Flight titles and I think we'll be pushing this aside for the time being or at least until my wallet has recovered. Here is the first booklet included in the box and it is the Learn to Play manual. Not quite as thick as I was initially thought it would be, very detailed, great use of images, almost like a storyboard of instructions which should make it much easier to get to grips with the game. It also details what card sleeves you need to purchase if you're inclined to sleeve your products, which is a nice little touch. Here we have the rules reference booklet, and this is a little thicker than the Learn to Play, and much more like what I was afraid of with a big box game, and that is just wall to wall words. I've been advised to have a read through this by Uncle Fist and then get online, have a look at some YouTube Let's Play style videos to help to get the grips with things. There really is no way you can learn all of these rules, so I assume it's more to refer back to when I'm sure of something. Now we're getting to the meat of the box. A great big chunk of cardboard which is incredibly detailed and well themed to look exactly like you would expect to find in a haunted mansion. The details in the artwork is absolutely amazing. I really can't stress how nice it looks from the grim and grime around the bath and the toilet to the detail in the bedding. The floorboards are all unique as well. It really is little details throughout the room areas which blows you away and makes this stand out as a quality product. It really stresses how where that year 93 pound is going here.
We have a fair amount of cards here as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All in all, I would say about an inch and a half of cardboard on total, uh, which gives you some idea of how thick the token and rupees will actually be when you've pushed them out. Flipping this over, we have some of the token sheets ready to push out. Uh, the majority of this one is detailing the monsters, uh, and these cards slot into the monster stand, so you know what they are. We also have some in-game tokens here, which we'll look at in more detail. That's a good overview of the tokens. What I do like here is that everything is bagged up nice and neat, so there's no reason for pieces to go astray, although you can pick up from foam inserts, which keeps everything nice and snug in the box. Now we're starting to look at the cards and what those sleeves would be used for. Again, the artwork is just incredible, detailed with a realistic air to it. From satchels to treasure chests and body organs taking up the reverse of the card and an old scroll style on the face of the card. It really is easy to understand where your money is going in this game. Next up is the character sheets. If I can just get them open. Each of the cards obviously gives you stats for the character, but also gives you a backstory on each of them as well, which is perfect if you're going down the whole role playing route. Here is a great little touch by Fantasy Flight. They actually include an expansion pack, or an upgrade pack if you will, so you can incorporate your characters from the first edition into the app based version. An amazing touch. They could have easily just charged 30 quid for this, but have incorporated into the box for free. Something you have to consider when purchasing this. On to the miniatures. First up we have the character miniatures. Now a lot of people paint their miniatures but it's not something I'm going to be, even begin to attempt as I feel I would lose some of the detail due to my inability, inability even uh, to paint. They are very detailed from the rims of glasses to buttons on jackets to the flames on candles to the impression of wind blowing through their clothes and I think I would lose that if I tried to uh, colour them in.
Almost last, now we have the monsters. Now these are equally as detailed in their grey monotoned forms. However, some of the thinner monsters do feel a little flimsy. And how much this will be a factor whilst playing, we will see later on. You certainly get a lot of them and a huge variety of them as well. Finally, we have the dice. The white paint looks like it could be an issue, and like it's ready to rub off, but this is probably the cheapest element to replace if you ever need to. So to recap, you get the monsters in all of their hideous forms. Just pop that in the box. Um, yeah, again, you do get a hell of a lot of those uh, monsters there. You get the dice. You get the uh, the character min miniatures as well. Um, obviously, I'm sure you won't be playing the game. You get the first pack of cards there. You also get the monster miniature bases to help them stand up. Uh, you get the character sheets, uh, pop that there. The Mansions of Manda's first edition upgrade pack, which I still believe is a really nice touch, and well, it's something they could have been um, charged for, but it certainly isn't. Um, it's a, as I say, it's a really nice touch, it's something that you don't see very often. Um, so we'll get that popped into the box. Um, really nice, I do like that. I can't stress how much I like that. Okay, also you get the second pack of cards, uh, which takes the total to well over 200 cards in this game. Um, again, really detailed. You get lots of, let's try and just get this out of here, you get lots of thick, well detailed map pieces and tokens already there to be pushed out, and that will take some time to do that carefully. The app download instructions, um, obviously, the Fantasy Flight Catalog, which is not going back in that box, that's staying well away from my eyes. Uh, the Woo Reference uh, Booklets and Learn to Play Booklet. Uh, and there we have it. Uh, the Mansions of Madness Second Edition Crib Sheet. Uh, that is um, pretty much everything you get in the box. Um, obviously there are expansions available. Um, now, as this is the first time we've done one of these here at Midlife Gamer, why not get in touch and leave some comments as to what you liked, and we will try and incorporate your feedback into future videos. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.